Hello there, in this video we're going to be taking a very quick look at this fella. This is a 40 meter rated diving flashlight, fully waterproof, obviously, because it's a diving one, by Light Take. It's approximately 20 centimeters, about 8 inches long, by about an inch and a quarter diameter at the widest. Three super bright LEDs and it runs on two 18650 high capacity batteries has a magnetic switch there allowing you to turn it on and off the reason it's got a magnetic switch is because it is a diving light it's a pretty good idea because if you have a little press end like a lot of the modern flashlights do that can become cracked it can become worn and that is a point where water can potentially get in with this, once you screw it down and all the seals are totally compressed, it should be 100% waterproof. You'll notice it's got an arm strap there. That's quite long, because if you're working under the water, if you're a diver, you don't want it to be hanging right here. It's going to be hanging right in amongst what you're doing. If you have a long one, should I say, if you have a long cord between your wrist and the flashlight, that can lie on the ground and you can work away. It's made of aircraft grade aluminium, which most decent flashlights are now. And it has a screwy end on there for you to get in at the batteries. One, two, big chunky batteries. It doesn't come with batteries, just point that out. That is the base unit. You basically get a flashlight, no batteries. So you can either get to them from the back or from the front. like that. Now hopefully you can see there there's a double seal on both ends and that's good because a lot of underwater rated flashlights only have one seal. If that one seal goes you're knackered. Belt and braces. I just mentioned that the handle itself has got a good checkered finish and also the end cap has as well which allows you to tighten it up really tight. Even if your hands were filthy dirty, you'd still be able to get it tight. Just drop the batteries in there. One, two. Now, believe it or not, the batteries are the most expensive part of this flashlight. 18650 batteries are quite expensive for decent ones. So that's why this isn't very much money. But it is plenty bright. Now this is advertised as being 3,600 lumens, which is 3,600 times as bright as the moon. I can't tell much of a difference between this and some 11 to 1,200 lumen flashlights that I've got, but they have a more concentrated beam. This does light up quite a big area very, very well, as you'll see from the nighttime test. There you go. That's about 25 meters away, which isn't a great distance, but hopefully you can see that that's lighting that up very, very well. I'm just looking on the viewfinder there, and it seems to be picking that up quite well. Uh, I'll try it from about 35 meters or 35 yards away now. Okay, that's without any light on, apart from the light that's on the camcorder. And this is the diving light. That's pretty good. Yep. Those trees right at the far side there, approximately 35 meters away from where I'm standing now. And if I raise it up a little bit, hopefully you'll be able to see the trees behind them. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. And looking at it on a night, that is certainly more illumination than I get from the like 1100 or 1200 lumen lights that I've got. Definitely more. I can see that already on the viewfinder. Pretty impressive. Now I can't test whether this thing is fully submersible down to 40 meters. But what I can do is test it at 6 meters. My pond's 6 meters deep, which is approximately 20 feet. And that's a hell of a lot deeper than a lot of people will be testing this thing in. So I've got it tied onto a bit of string there. And we're going to throw it in, come back to it in 24 hours, see if it still works. 
Right, let's come back to it tomorrow. I got a little bit tied up today, so this is about 27 hours instead of 24 hours after I chucked this flashlight under the water. Hey, no problem at all. See how cold it is in England now, early November. It's gonna be another frosty one. Now one more thing I found about this particular flashlight is that it fits this mount. You've seen that mount in a previous video and that allows you to attach a small flashlight to a rifle. As so, making it suitable as a lamp. And this one is much brighter than the original one that I had fitted to this mount. If you want to check this mount out, it's in a previous video. I'll put a link in the video description uh, along with where I got it from as well. And that is a Kraken setup. Very, very good. I hoped that it would fit when I first saw it, and after trying it, it does fit. So that's an added bonus for this particular flashlight. Awesome. If you're looking for a couple of batteries and a decent charger, you can certainly get them anywhere between 20 quid up to 30 quid or thereabouts. Two batteries and a good quality charger. So it's not out of the way, although it does definitely add cost onto the package, you know? Just buying the flashlight is only kind of half of the deal. Flashlight, batteries, and a charger, but the batteries do last a hell of a long time. As always with my review videos, there will be a link in the video description if you want to check out this particular item. There'll also be links to other related videos and other useful videos as well. Not necessarily reviews, but sometimes bushcraft or survival related. So check out the video description. There's often a lot of information in there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.